back to my channel it's your girl biscuit how is everybody doing hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day wherever you are so today's video is going to be a unboxing of some pr that i got from kusari uh kusari actually reached out to me and asked if i'd be interested in reviewing some of their products and i said sure um actually this is my second time hearing about this brand i believe i heard this brand um first from uh tia bella beauty um, I will put her information right here on the screen. Um, I believe I saw her do an unboxing and they actually had some really nice products for beginners. So I was like, sure, go ahead and send me over the kit so we can go ahead and take a look at what you get. Okay, so um, the kit that they sent over to me is the nail art decoration kit. And it came in this really, really pretty, uh, kind of like a coral color box and the packaging is really cute and very sturdy okay so when you first open it we do have some nail tips so we have a hundred clear tips and these actually are a little bit curved so definitely this is beginner friendly for sure I'm trying not to pop out all the nail tips <laughs> okay so let's take a look here as you see, they have a little bit of a curve to them, but it's perfect for beginners to be able to practice on and to start learning how to do acrylic nails. So they came with some clear tips. Oh, and they actually also came with some um, natural tips as well. So same shape. So these are kind of like a, cough, a little bit of coffin, but they're like a wider coffin. So this is nice. And then um, I do see that we have some rhinestones. So this is some nice nail art. You have some black, silver, purple, pink, green. Uh, that's like a darker purple. This is a lighter purple. You have a dark blue, like a lime green here. Then you also have a kind of like a baby blue. You have red. This looks yellow, but might be orange. And then you have some pink so this is definitely nice to be able to work on some bling you can do cuticle bling you can do an outline of bling you have so many options with this okay so these next ooh, these next few uh containers are actually glitter y'all know i love some glitter okay and they give you like all shades of glitter do you see this Okay, so inside of here is more of a neon glitter. You might be able to get away with sugaring with these glitters because these look like they are some fine glitters as well. So we have here, these have a little bit more sparkle to them. And you know what, let's take a look because I know these aren't reflective whatsoever. So let's take a look, shall we? And these might actually be individual, they are, so that's why I kind of don't, I'm gonna actually refrain from taking them out of the packaging. But as you can see, they're really pretty, up close and personal. Then you have this color set here. Um, this is more on the warmer tone for me, because you have like the brown, a um, little bit of like maybe a honey gold, a deep pink, it's almost like a magenta color here. So I like that and hold on y'all I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all can do with these and then you also have this color set here for glitter so it definitely gives you options to actually create your own glitter acrylic mixes right like that so also inside the box oh, they also have their kusari acrylic powder manual so it will tell you some tips and tricks and how to apply so I like that Again, this is perfect for beginners, just in case you may not know what you're doing, you might wanna start practicing, you know, just because you wanna get your nails done or do your own nails, and this is some really nice instructions to be able to guide you through it. Okay, yep, and so let's take a look at what's in this bag. So we have their acrylic powder in white. We have pink. Okay. 
and we have clear. So clear is definitely perfect to be able to make your own glitter acrylic mixes. Also, if you are trying to just kind of marble some glitters, what you can do is you can dip your brush into the monomer, pick up your bead, and then dip your bead into the, the glitter. And then that's how you'll have a glitter bead. So we also have the ultra glue. Um, that's not still right. Keep out of reach of children. <laughs> um, but I know what they meant, right? And then what's left in this bag is we have some, oh, okay, look at them giving some uh, extra strength primer. Okay. And you can just dehydrate your nails with alcohol. And then they also have a top coat as well. Let's take a look at the consistency of the top coat. Um, so it's more on the thin side. The thinner side is not runny. So it's very nice. Hopefully it will give that glass look. And then we have the extra strength primer. It definitely smells like primer. So that's a plus. I don't think I've ever seen um, like a beginner kit come with primer. So I like that. Um, oh, so also in here we have the monomer. This is an EMA monomer, uh, 50 ml. Also gives you instructions on the back of the bottle. Let's see if this has um, a little tab on it. Yep, and it does. And you can't really smell the monomer, surprisingly. Um, I know I had a, I reviewed another kit and I could smell the monomer through the plastic. So I really can't smell this monomer. So this one is seems uh, to be like low odor. So that is a wonderful thing. So you don't have to go outside with this one, okay? <laughs> uh, so let's see what else we get. Oh, look, we got some crap. Oh, wow. Definitely getting you beginners right. If you are looking for a good kit to start off with. So here we are with the fingers. You'll be able to adhere your tip here. And then you can apply your acrylic as normal you can lay your beads so this is nice to have hmm. and they give you five of these so you're able to practice doing a a hand so i like that let's see what else is in here we have a dapping dish of course you can use this for your monomer Uh, we also have some tweezers for you to be able to pick up uh, your stones if you don't have a wax pencil. You have a brush so that way you can get rid of all the dust, dirt, and debris from your cuticle area. You should really have your clients or yourself to go wash with soap and water and use a brush so that way you can make sure you get all of that off. You also have a tip cutter. Okay, standard. So if you want to trim down your nail tips, you can use that. Or you can use scissors, but it's nice that it comes with a tip cutter. So we have a few more other things in here. Oh, so if you don't want to use nail tips, you can also use the forms. So this is really nice. I actually have these forms already. So I know these are definitely beginner friendly. So I love that. Um, so it also comes with a nail file. Feels like this might be 80 on this side and then 100 on this side. So, but I like that they give you a full size file, okay? Not the baby files, the full size, okay? So you're able to actually get in there and get these nails crisp. I like that. Then it also comes with, oh, I've never really seen one of these. Uh, it's probably been a long time because I used to get these from Walgreens back in the day. <laughs> so to tell you your step one, uh, step two, step three, this is your fine grit. And then you come back to step four to condition the nail. Step five, smooth the nail. 
step six, this is a nail buffer. And then step seven, you polish and shine. Interesting. So it's a all in one deal, okay? And then you do get your acrylic brushes. And I haven't seen brushes like this since I first started getting into nails. Uh, these are not 100% Kalinsky brushes. Um, personally, on a um, recommendation, right? Um, these brushes to me would be good for like 3D work. I would say if you are going to start on nails, just get yourself a really good brush. Don't play around with the brush because that does affect your application. So personally, I would just keep these for 3D art. Um, or you could also use them for a cuticle pusher at the end so you can push your cuticles back. So, or you can, you can try it, but I'm telling you right now, it's just better to go ahead and get you a, a real 100% Kalinsky brush. Okay. And then the last item it comes with is like a, um, I don't know what this tool is called, but this will also trim your cuticle area. So... If you use it here, you can scrape up that dead tissue and you can get your cuticles right. Okay, so, and then it also comes with a, a flat end here. So you could also use this to push it back as well. And then also scrape up that dead skin off the nail plate. So it comes with a lot of good stuff and this is definitely a great kit for beginners. If you are interested, I will leave a link down below you can go ahead and shop and get yourself this kit. I think they also do have another kit that's different from this one as well, but I think it contains mostly the same things. And then I think there's another one that also is a dip kit as well, just in case you are not a fan of working with monomer. So as always, I will leave the link down below. Make sure you all go check that out if you're interested. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so that way you never miss a video from me. As always, please stay safe, love on each other, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.